So we just hit TikTok users are making millions of dollars. It doesn't matter if you're a musician, a business, or just a personality. It is the right platform for organic growth. Today, we're gonna to explore how to go viral on TikTok. We're gonna be trying to make our e-commerce product, the Lemon Scrub, go viral. I'm gonna give you absolutely everything you need to know, tips, tricks, and how to shoot the content so that your business can also go viral. TikTok users are obsessed with the platform. They spend on average over an hour a day on it. And the great thing is that their feed is actually created for you. There's over a billion users and people are watching more content on TikTok than YouTube nowadays. So why is TikTok so great. Back in the day, Instagram was an amazing platform for organic reach. Brands, influencers, they would post content and grow their Instagram. They would use engagement pods and all of these hacks and tricks to get a lot of sales. Then Instagram started introducing paid ads and that organic reach shrunk over time. TikTok is the new Instagram in this regards. However, it is much, much bigger. With Instagram, you'd actually have to follow people to see the content. TikTok's default is absolutely everything that the algorithm thinks that is relevant to you. This means that people can discover you very, very easily. People with only 100 followers can go absolutely viral and get millions of views. Over the past 12 months, we've grown the Udi TikTok page to 2.9 million likes. I've also grown my personal TikTok to almost 150,000 followers. We've achieved this by understanding the For You created feed and really tailoring our content to go to as many people as possible. One of the first things I'll say about TikTok is that your product or your content strategy needs to be really relevant to the feed. If you're doing something boring that is not entertaining, educational, or really captivating or controversial, it's probably not going to work. I've had some products that do incredibly well on TikTok, some that don't do well at all. If your product is struggling on TikTok, chances are you need to go back to the drawing board and think of the creative way that you can display that product for the feed. This is because unlike YouTube, TikTok users have a short attention span. They can really easily, with low friction, just skip to the next video. If you don't grab the user's attention within the first three seconds, someone else will. One of the coolest TikTok examples at the moment is Charlie Puth. What if there was a song that started off like boop, 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 boop. He used TikTok to release parts of his song and the creation of that song. TikTok users would stay engaged with the content, boosting it up throughout the algorithm. He managed to amass 21 million views in just two weeks. You need to take notice of this kind of virality and ability to get eyes on your product. Other incredible brands that are leveraging this platform include Blendjet, Shein, and Highsmile. You can head to TikTok and look at success stories actually on their website for people that are using it for both advertising and organic. One very common thing with TikTok is that people that can do organic growth can also also do paid growth. This is because their product just lends the self to the platform so natively. If your product doesn't lend itself to the platform, you need to find another way. As I mentioned before, Mermaid Straws does this by actually creating a personal touch. They create visually pleasing ASMR videos of packing their order to their customers and thanking them. When nobody knew about the Udi, we leveraged the dance video trends. So people were dancing in the Udi's and that would actually make it go viral. The product is quite unique in the designs and also the oversized shape. So people generally stop scrolling in their feed to have a look at it. You can also try to add some custom packaging or a really amazing unboxing experience so people really get captivated in your product. My personal TikTok has been also really helpful in growing my personal YouTube channel. This is actually one of the main reasons why I got into YouTube when I did because I saw how much or organic reach TikTok could create. There's actually a couple of reasons why my personal TikTok has managed to grow. Firstly, a lot of people actually already knew the brands that I was working on. This would then make the content go more viral. Another reason why the content went viral is it was somewhat controversial. People would go onto the TikTok and argue about whether we actually achieved those sales. Lots of people would accuse us of lying or editing our Shopify screenshots and other people would defend us. TikTok absolutely loves that engagement. One of the main angles that we really found success with was the throwbacks. It would show the journey from starting the business to the success that they are today. Six months ago, I probably would have told you to focus on small little hacks to grow your page. The truth is the algorithm is really smart now and you just need to focus on being really genuine and engaging on the platform. Just focus on the content strategy that you're using. Do a lot of research. What are your competitors doing? What are people similar to you doing? This is how you're going to go viral. You also really need to focus on just being consistent. You might not go viral on your first video, do lots and lots of posts and stay consistent around the content strategy that you think is going to work. So now I'm gonna go into a step-by-step -step guide. You're gonna watch me shoot the content and post it live. Are we gonna go viral or fail miserably? Alrighty, so now we need to get all of the footage that we're gonna use when making our TikTok. We've done our research so we know all of our shots. We've got a bit of a shot list. At first, I thought this stuff was just moderately good. We're just gonna get a variety of shots of the lemon scrub first of all then actually the barbecue, so we can do the clicking TikTok that we've seen so much, 
Then we're gonna get in Scrubber. We've got a phone here to record some ASMR as well in case we wanna go down that angle. It should be good, let's get into it. Holding it here, scrubbing, scrub, 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 scrub. I'm nervous! So I've got my Scrub Daddy here as well, which is another viral product. So when people that have bought the Scrub Daddy see this, they'll know the video is relevant for them, and then we can cross sell them to our product. Got the first shot, which is the point of view. Now, so I don't shake too much, I'm gonna get a second shot with someone filming me. Alrighty, I've got all that footage on my phone now. Let's jump back into the TikTok app and make our first viral video. After you've added a profile picture on your page, you're gonna come down here and click this plus sign. Now we're going to go into down here where we can go upload and select our content. Click next. So I've got my Scrub Daddy here, which is another viral product. So, so this is me talking the about the YouTube. We're actually gonna adjust that and I'm gonna cut it just to where I start using the Lemon Scrub. You can use the inbuilt tools to trim the video. Now, editing in TikTok is very limited. So like everything with Facebook ads, if you can learn to use Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro, it's gonna be a great skill for you to use down the line. If you want a free option, you can use CapCut. I really want the first three seconds to be really engaging, so we don't want my hand pausing over there for too long. We want them scooping in so people get intrigued with it. We are gonna put a voiceover as well, so that's gonna make people more intrigued. So now I've trimmed my video, now I can click this little timer down the bottom and speed it up. Might look a little bit jolty, but it's starting to come along nicely. We're just gonna make sure that it's trimmed. You don't want too much boring stuff. It'll be a good place to finish. And my start is good as well. I'm gonna click save there. You can see it's a bit jolty, but that will speed up once TikTok catches up. So now to get the robot voice, we're just gonna use this little text box here. I thought this stuff was only half good. And we're gonna click this little voice over I thought here. this stuff was go only half way. good. We're gonna select Jesse for that voice and we'll click done. Now what we can do is we can make the set the duration just to the start. We wanna make it long enough so she can read the whole sentence. Now it does drag on a little bit my video in the middle because that, that stain was really tough. So I'm also just going to add another text that says, wait for it. Wait for it? So good. Well, I should do wait for it, so. So satisfying. So satisfying. This barbecue hasn't been cleaned for years. So now I'm just gonna save the video as a draft using next and then clicking drafts. So I'm gonna finish editing these videos now. I'm gonna jump back in the account in three days and see how we go. It's actually gone to 236,000. So we just hit 236,000 views on our recent TikTok, which is good. It's ticking along. So that's grown 100,000 views in just the past hour. Free impressions, totally organic. Very, very solid. 